Multiple big storms are coming to the United States over the next seven days, and these will bring a bunch of problems, including the risk of significant severe weather, with damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes being possible. Additionally, a major geomagnetic storm is likely to impact the United States early this upcoming week, which could bring northern lights to a vast majority of the United States. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days, and we'll begin with what's happening across across the country today and really the biggest story today is that we have a huge storm system that brought a multi-day severe weather event now exiting the United States a low pressure system is currently located over New England this will bring additional rainfall today and a little bit of isolated severe weather through the late afternoon and evening hours in the mid-Atlantic region but generally speaking we aren't really talking about much more out of this storm system on the other hand we have a small little system that is right now moving across the Dakotas and Nebraska and this will actually bring a potential for severe weather tonight to areas like Oklahoma and Texas, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second. And then for the time being, the West Coast is very quiet, but as we go into early this upcoming week, we are going to see multiple storm systems eject over the Rocky Mountains, which will bring the return for a multi-day severe weather event, which will all kick off on Monday. And something else you may have noticed is that we actually have a ton of wildfire smoke that is currently moving into a large chunk of the Great Plains and the Ohio Valley today, and this is all from wildfires that are currently ongoing back up in Canada. And over the next 24 hours, we are anticipating this to continue, and a lot of this smoke will filter into the Ohio Valley and as well as the Tennessee Valley and even into the southeast as we go into early Monday. So just heads up, there will be some air quality issues, and on top of that, we may see northern lights on Monday from a major geomagnetic storm, and unfortunately, the viewing of those northern lights on Monday may be impacted by the smoke, and right now, my thinking is that we're likely going to see northern lights at least down into parts of the central plains, but this could be further south depending on the intensity of this geomagnetic storm so stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel we'll keep you posted with the latest on any details that come out of this upcoming big storm but we could easily see northern lights all the way down as far south as oklahoma maybe even down into parts of texas on monday but again keep in mind there could be a lot of cloud cover and a lot of wildfire smoke out there on top of that there's also a risk of severe weather over the next few days and it all begins tonight which we have a slight risk of severe weather in place across parts of the central and southern plains and a large marginal threat that goes from about omaha nebraska back towards Wichita Falls, Texas, and just outside of Dallas-Fort Worth, where the main concern for today will be damaging winds and large hail, and a lot of the storms that we're going to be seeing in the central and southern plains tonight are going to be nocturnal, so unfortunately, you need to make sure that you have ways to receive warnings after sunset, because that's when the bulk of the storms will be happening. There's also a low chance for an isolated tornado or two. These storms are not really in the most favorable environment for tornadoes, but I wouldn't rule out an isolated tornado with the storms that are moving from north to south here across the Oklahoma City metro around 11 11 o'clock all the way through about three or four o'clock in the morning so definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware and then on sunday our risk of severe weather is fairly low for most of the country but i do think texas needs to be on alert tomorrow for some big hailstorms and maybe even an isolated tornado from about dallas fort worth back through houston texas even near austin texas where all hazards of severe weather will be on the table but it is a relatively localized event and then a couple marginal threats of severe weather elsewhere where isolated severe weather is a possibility tomorrow afternoon and then as we go into monday Monday, our threat of severe weather shifts back into the Great Plains, where we are expecting our first of many storm systems to enter the United States during the work week. We are expecting at least scattered severe weather from the northern plains back into Texas and Oklahoma. All hazards of severe weather are going to be possible across this region here, mainly in the central and southern plains, with damaging winds, large hail, and a tornado or two being a possibility. The further northern mode is going to be primarily hail and wind storms. I think our tornado threat will be fairly low for those in Minnesota. Minnesota, South Dakota, Nebraska, and even back into Colorado. Again, stay weather aware. This should be mostly an afternoon and evening threat in these areas. On Tuesday, we could have a pretty rough day on Tuesday. I do think that this is the most concerning day of the entire week right now when it comes to severe weather, and I do think a severe weather outbreak is on the table. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has a French fry slight risk of severe weather from about Dallas, Fort Worth, all the way back into southern Wisconsin, where all hazards of severe weather will be on the table, including damaging winds, very large hail, and a few tornadoes and a strong tornado or two are definitely going to be in play with this environment. I also want to point out that this is still where the greatest confidence of severe weather is, so definitely expect in our day three outlook, which will be tomorrow, that our risk of severe weather will likely encompass a much larger area for those in the Midwest back into the Southern Plains. So even if you're not in the slight risk of severe weather yet, you may be added to it in a future outlook, so keep that in mind. I also expect that there will probably be a level three out of five enhanced risk of severe weather at some point in a future outlook. When 
Wednesday and Thursday right now. We don't have any risk of severe weather outline, but I do think on Wednesday we're talking more about an Ohio Valley and Northeast threat of severe weather and then probably some severe weather also back over in the Southern Plains. And then the same thing with Thursday. I do think the threat of severe weather will be more focused towards areas in the Southern and Central Plains, but exactly where that severe weather sets up and how significant it is does remain uncertain. But keep in mind, basically all work week, we are going to have a threat of severe weather and most days will likely have elevated risks of hail and maybe even tornadoes. Now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather, beginning with what's going to be happening tonight across Oklahoma, Kansas, and as well as Texas. This one's going to look like right around 12 o'clock. A few storms will start to fire up, mainly across northern Oklahoma. And these are storms that I would call slip and slide storms. They're basically going from north to south here, producing mainly the threat of large hail around and just after midnight. But any of these storms that have positive storm interactions may be able to spit out a tornado or two. So that's one of the reasons why you should be staying weather aware tonight. And I know by 3 a.m., there are likely going to be storms out there around the Oklahoma City metro. So you might wake up to one of these storms with the thunder and lightning that's happening, but also you might even wake up to an emergency alert. So definitely stay weather aware here. Don't be caught off guard tonight. Eventually into early tomorrow morning, those storms will be approaching the Dallas-Fort Worth area, mainly with just isolated damaging winds, maybe a bit of hail early tomorrow morning. This is what it looks like around lunchtime tomorrow. There could still be a storm ongoing, which any storms that are in this environment in southeast Texas will be able to cause all hazards of severe weather. I do think a tornado is entirely possible out of a storm like that. And then just after 3 to 4 o'clock, we may see a couple more storms initiate just to the south of Dallas-Fort Worth, perhaps near an outflow boundary. And one of these storms could also produce very large hail, damaging winds, and even a tornado or two. And keep in mind that this environment here is not capable of widespread storms. It'll probably only be one or two supercells tomorrow. So they're going to be very isolated. But if you get hit by one of these supercells, it could cause significant severe weather, similar to what we just saw, by the way, in Austin, Texas, just a few days back where we had that major hailstorm and microburst on the north side of the city. So keep that in mind. Everything is possible tomorrow. It's just going to be very, very spotty. And then as we go into the work week, we are expecting a very active weather pattern with a bunch of chances of severe weather. And it really all kicks off on Monday once we begin to notice some large scale troughing back over in the Rockies and along the West Coast. And this is going to help to amplify a bunch of these little short wave troughs that are all going to bring a respective threat of severe weather. Now, these are not super intense, especially for June. We don't usually see a very intense jet stream across most parts of the United States. Usually these storm systems are going to rely more on mesoscale features, but nonetheless, we are going to have a storm system Monday into Tuesday that's going to bring severe weather. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, another storm system is going to come from right behind that one, which will keep this multi-day severe weather event alive. And then eventually by Wednesday, we are going to have to watch for two different areas of severe weather, strong jet stream over Canada, and then some spotty severe weather is likely in the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. And then another short wave trough moving into the Southern Plains, which will bring more severe weather to the Central and Southern Plains, similar to what we will see most likely on Monday and Tuesday. By Thursday and Friday, things start to become a lot more uncertain, but with our jet stream continuing to at least stay somewhat strong, or at least strong enough for some organized severe weather, we should continue to at least see some scattered severe weather in parts of the Great Plains, perhaps even something back up in the Midwest. And then by the weekend, this is where things become a lot more uncertain, but we may see another shortwave trough move over the Rockies, bringing more severe weather. And then after this, we may end up seeing something a lot quieter, at least for a few days around the middle of June, maybe a death ridge returning, which if that happens, that basically means a lot of warm and dry air would build up. But again, really anything beyond June 10th or so is very uncertain at this time. Now let's put this into more simplistic terms with the future radar, beginning with what's happening on Monday. Our first of many storm systems will move over the Rockies, where we'll see at least some scattered severe weather across the central and southern plains and a little bit more severe weather to the north side of our low pressure system. And keep in mind, anything north of this low will be my mainly a hail and wind threat. There's a better chance of tornadoes around and just to the south of this low pressure system. I think Nebraska through about the Texas panhandle is really the biggest concern for Monday. But again, it's going to be a bit conditional because of the moisture content. I don't know if we're going to be seeing dew points into the 60s and 70s in that region, which is what we really need for there to be an actual tornado threat. And right now it looks like the moisture might be lacking. So that's something to keep in mind for Monday. On Tuesday, I think a more robust threat of severe weather will take place from the Midwest back into the Southern Plains with scattered to numerous severe weather being a possibility pretty much into the mid to late morning and even into the afternoon hours. So this is almost going to be an all day event here across the Midwest and the Southern Plains. And that'll eventually move into the Ozarks Wednesday or Tuesday night. Eventually on Wednesday, we're going to be talking about scattered severe weather, not really as organized, but a little bit of isolated severe weather in the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. I think the Southern Plains will end up being at least a little bit more scattered with hail, wind, and maybe even a few tornadoes being a possibility. On Thursday, the storm system is going to remain somewhat weak, but we'll continue to watch for isolated severe weather on Thursday. 
from the Great Lakes back over into the Southern Plains. And then by Friday and Saturday, I think what we're going to be talking about for severe weather is going to be a lot of mesoscale days, basically meaning small scale features are going to depict what we actually see in terms of severe weather. But it appears as if it's going to be a pretty active weather pattern. And then by the middle of June, we we'll have to keep an eye out on the tropics. Right now, there is a very low chance over the next 10 to 14 days that something develops in the Caribbean Sea. And sometime around June 9th to June 12th is the time frame I'll be keeping an eye on for maybe a tropical disturbance to move into the Gulf. Right now, it's about a 10 to 20 percent chance of anything developing over the next 10 days. But definitely stay weather aware if you're near the Gulf Coast. We are not forecasting a hurricane by any means, but I do think a low end tropical storm is a possibility within the next couple of weeks. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll have another video tomorrow going way more in detail about our severe weather potential during the work week. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, there's a low chance of a live stream today and tomorrow. So make sure to click the bell icon so you're notified if we do go live.